Now to a developing story we've been following here in New Haven. A pedestrian who was hit by a car has died from the injuries. The crash happened downtown at the intersection of Olive and Green. That's kind of a tight intersection if you've been down there. It has been the spot of crashes in the past. News H Josh Scheinblum is live at the scene tonight. And Josh, what have you learned? We're here right now at the intersection of Olive and Green Streets. In the short time that we've been here, we've seen that it is both heavily populated with both cars and pedestrians moving in and out of the lanes here. Not a far stretch to see why a woman was killed as she tried to cross the street from earlier in the day. Now, our cameras were there shortly after this accident all happened. Accident reconstruction crews working to figure out the circumstances surrounding what took place here. Now, according to witnesses, it all happened shortly after 11. 7 a.m. Officials of the New Haven Police Department tell us that that woman was transported to the hospital but unfortunately died before 1 o'clock this afternoon. Now, the operator of the vehicle, they add, did not flee and, in their words, it appears was not at fault and will most likely not be charged in connection with this incident. Now, those who were first on scene were neighbors and they tell us that they immediately called 911 and they say that this is a place that has cars which often move. Very fast. Well, I've been here for three years. I've never seen anybody get hit or, or anything. I mean, there's been some fender benders, but you know, uh, I've, as for people getting struck, I've never heard of anybody getting not in three years. And like I said, the crosswalk up there, people slow down for that, but they get they pick it up a little bit when they come down here. The woman and the driver involved have still not been identified. Please stay with us here on News 8 as we continue to work to find out more details about this story. For now, we're live in New Haven. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.